Temporal Forces sees the release of a brand new Dodunsparce, with an insane ability that lets you just draw 3 cards and then shuffle it back into your deck, so you can use cards like Artisan and Nest Ball to continuously rebench your Dunsparce and use this ability over and over. This is the perfect partner for Tinkaton EX, which wants to have an insane amount of cards in its hand to do massive damage. Tinkaton is going to be facing off against Future Box today, a deck built entirely around Maridon and Iron Crown EX to accelerate energy and do big damage respectively. Then and the deck has a bunch of different future Pokemon that are good attackers for various situations. Today, Daniel will be piloting Tinkaton EX with the Dunsparce and I will be piloting my own future box list. Let's hop right into the video and see which of these two decks can come out on top. Just want to give a quick thank you to the sponsor of the channel, PTCGL Store. If you need codes, you know where to go. Head over to PTCGOStore.com and use code HITMON to get 5% off your order. You get a good product for a good price and you help out the channel as well. So thank you to the sponsor for supporting me and thanks to you for supporting me too. And now we'll get right back into the video. All right. So, you want to go first? Yeah, I want to yeah. go second. So we're just gonna we're just gonna do that. Not coin flip. Yeah, there we go. See, everybody wins. I will go first. Okay. Been cool. shuffling for a while, so yeah. Hopefully we're good. Fine. All right. What's the starting hand looking like? I could work with that. This hand. That's okay. Hey, <laughs> right. good luck, Mr. Chen. Uh, start reading Jirachi, which is cool. Um, I'm not sure if I want to attach to it because there's a chance it just gets like turn one knocked out by the baby Mirai with a bunch of damage boosts, so I might hold off on that for now. Both search at least, so I'll play Poffin, start getting some small dudes set up. Buddy, buddy Poffin. Mm. This one just says one buddy. <laughs> That's though. true. That is true. Can't go disrespecting the unofficial translations. So I'll get um. Bidding two Tinka Tank and one Dunsparce, or two Dunsparce, one Tinka Tank? I think I'll do two Dunsparce. So you get Tinka Tank, Dunsparce off the Poffin, and then I'll Nest Ball for another Dunsparce. Shuffle that up. I'll attach for turn to Tinka Tank, and I'll pass. And yeah, like I'm not the most huge fan of this hand. Start with the Nest Ball, see what we're working with. But to be completely honest, I want to just dump it. Like, I don't want anything to do with this hand. Um, I want to make sure my baby Maridons are in here. I have a lot of Iron Crowns, hopefully. And yeah, okay. So I'm going to grab Squawk. Um, yeah, this hand, like, actually gross. <laughs> so we'll just shuffle this quickly. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll throw the EXP share on Squawk ability, Future Booster on the Iron Moth. And then we will squawk and seize this hand away. Like, mm -hmm. literally zero cards going on in there. Hopefully six fresh ones can help me out. And, yeah, pretty solid. Not exactly what I want to see. But that's okay. Um, I can bench an Iron Crown. And I just need to see more cards again. So I'm just going to go right ahead for research. We are digging. We, we got to dig. We got to find our Baby Maridon. That's kind of how the stack works like you need to get that turn one attack and we found it thankfully i was a little concerned but we found it so we can go for the techno radar which is going to let us discard a card from our hand and grab two of any future pokemon now this rating jirachi is uh the ability triggers even if it's like already damaged right like it doesn't have to be full yeah energy. it's just whenever it's knocked out yeah and i'm not a huge fan of <laughs> knocking that out to be honest because like then he can get rare candy, take a ton, and whatever he can get whatever he wants. But I do think I gotta get going here. So I'm very likely gonna just grab a baby Maridon. And I'll probably grab I think a big Maridon as well. I wanna be able to do as much damage as possible. So I'm not gonna shuffle that exactly. Put down Big Maridon. Put down Big Maridon. And then I will throw Iron Crown as well. And that's gonna get me to be doing 40, 60, 80, and I can put a future booster. The perfect amount of math. And I'll attach a fire energy to this mer Retreat my iron moth. And then I'll go with speed peak for the knockout, searching yep. for two basic energies. About mm -hmm. what I expected. I had a feeling the Jirachi could get knocked out, so I'm gonna use Entrusted Wishes, which uh, lets you switch your deck when Jirachi is knocked out for three cards, whatever cards you want, put them into your hand. Yeah, which is good. really good to help me uh, yeah, going on this turn. So I'm gonna get that. I think I know what cards I want that. And, and I will take my prize card. See, the other option I had was to not take the KO here, right? 
what does doing that realistically accomplish for me? I still give him another turn to set up, and um, I'm still behind on prizes. So sure. we'll hopefully be able to pull through with the game here and uh, continuously do a lot of damage with our Maraidon. Okay, so I'm gonna go Buddy Puffin. This deck constantly needs basic search because the Dunsparces are leaving the board and you want to be searching out Dunsparces again to get them back down. So I have Puff in here. I'm gonna get one more to Dunsparce and uh, another Tinker Tink in case my active goes down. Um, I think I'm actually gonna go back in. Uh, I'm gonna use search for three Evos that don't have a rule box. Uh, we'll get the Dunsparce. I guess I can get Baby Tink a ton and another the Dunsparce because one of these was benched this turn, so I can't. Uh, evolve it up anyways, and I actually have one in my hand already, so we're getting the Dunsparces even just for future turns, assuming we don't get Iono the, you know, we can just put back down. So we'll do that. And then, let's go for the Dunsparce, we'll evolve. And the Dunsparce has an ability called Dashing Draw. Once during your turn, you can draw three cards. If you do, you shuffle this Pokemon all cards attached into the deck. So the way this deck basically works, is you're constantly trying to reestablish the Dunsparces, use Dashing Draw to amass a massive hands, and then take a tiny X does more damage for big hand sizes. So I'll use Dashing Draw, and you draw the cards first. So I'll draw three, and then you shuffle the Dunsparce in. And the reason that's relevant is that way you're not uh, potentially redrawing that exact same Dunsparce. It doesn't hurt, like if you if you actually want to on subsequent Dunsparces, but you can't actually redraw that same one with the active ability. But I could do it with like these ones now that the that line is back in the deck. I can draw cards, and some of those might be the same to Dunsparce, which you can reestablish and kind of keep the loop going. Um, I'm gonna Candy EX. I just want to do this beforehand, just so I can kind of easier keep track how many cards I need to hold. Uh, I have another to Dunsparce. This one I could use. This one can't evolve this turn. Uh, I have another Tinka Tink. I think I want a bench as well. Then let's see. I don't need a ton to knock out this Maraidon. I only need. Five cards in hand, I believe, because DT reduces down to 130. Um, that would be enough. So I don't need a ton, but I also want to be able to knock out some EXs pretty easily if I need to. I'm gonna Aroma. I think I want a Tails here for a basic. Get a Heads for an Evo. It's not like could get. I think a Tough. Then if I attach, I still have six in hand, which is fine. So I think I want to attach. And then I'm probably just gonna hold everything else. Uh, I can sit on this Dunsparce because I'm already knocking out, and if I get Iono to a lower hand size, I have more access to draw power easily. Um, so yeah, I'll go for Big Hammer with uh, six cards in hand, which is 180 and minus 20 for the DT, but it's enough to knock out the one prize right on. Yeah, Daniel, take the prize. My basic fire goes to the EXP shared Squawkabilly. And from here, I'm gonna lead with the Iron Moth and return. Now, Hmm. Again, interesting, uh, but I think I still want to set up my board a little bit more. I'm like, I don't really have a lot going on. So the way I think I want to play this, I'll put my other baby Maridon down and I'll attach for turn there. I'll literally retreat the Iron Moth and like, how do I want to do this? I don't know. It's really tough because Daniel's board is really strong. Um, and if I use Speed Peak, I'm going to be doing 40, 60, 80 damage. So, yeah, just doing a solid 80 is probably pretty good. So I will just go for the Speed Peak mm -hmm. for the 80 damage. Again, I get to search my deck for two energy cards and attach them to my future Pokemon in any way I like. And those two energy cards are going to be Fire and a Grass. And I'm going to put those guys, put a Fire on the Iron on... I can put the Grass on Big Maride on here. So that'll be my turn. Okay, I'll draw. I just wanted to actually check. I forgot because Crown does have a usable attack. Uh, 50 to two your opponent's Pokemon, and then it buffs to the active. Okay, so it does have snipe potential, but luckily if it is sniping, it's only 50 to the bench. Its abilities don't boost because I was, for a second I was checking there if I'm gonna need to get Manaphy. I do play it. I don't think I need it in this matchup unless he's at least used it once. Once he gets it, I can respond with Manaphy to prevent any further. But regardless of that though, Crown goes through Manaphy. Oh, the attack nice. goes through, but you can't boost with Cobalt Commander. You can't boost and Iron Crown. Is it 50? 
damage? Or it's what? 50 damage to two of your opponent's smash Pokemon. It goes yeah. through all Oh, it effects. just doesn't care about the It just doesn't care. Okay, so I don't want to get mad at you. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't yeah, care. It doesn't matter, though. Yeah. Okay, Oops. good to know. So I drew for a turn. Um, let's see. I'm trying to balance board setup with offense in terms of, like, how much damage I'm doing. I'm factoring in how much I need to knock out EXs. Uh, so 240 would be eight cards down to 220. So eight cards is the number. Um, it is a lot of, uh, what's the, like acrobatics kind of with your hand mm. and how many cards you can play and how many you need to keep in hand. This is fine. This is also fine. Well, candy take a ton because these draw cards anyway, so I can get these down. Uh, I think I do want to play boss. On my right on EX. Wanna go offensive there since he's been setting it up. Um, I am on odd prizes, so taking the one prize is fine, but this inhibits a lot of potential offense from John's next turn. Mm -hmm. So then, give me plus two essentially. This is just three, three. I think we can use. I can actually evolve Tinka Tough as well safely. And then I will use. Dashing draw, shuffle that guy back in. Currently at six. Um, use another dashing draw. Dunsparce gets shuffled. I have gather materials to net plus two still. And then from there, it's just how many cards do I wanna play down. So we're at six, we're at nine. Um, I need eight. So I wanna put at least one to, Done sparse down. Uh, three, six, seven. So I put artisan. Well, actually, I should hold this because we can see what gather materials get. So I think I'll just gather materials, which is discard draw three. I'll discard a and draw three cards. And then I'm at three, six, nine, ten in hand. So I can afford to play an artisan. I'll play that to get another Dunsparce down, reestablish that, and I'm still sitting at nine in hand. And then I don't think I really wanna play anything more from there, which is good. So three, six, nine, a big hammer for 250 because of double turbo for the knockout. Yeah, and now I get to keep another energy because of that. And I'm thinking I want to, the grass is pro. Now, for what I'm gonna lead with here, I don't exactly know. Yeah, my hand is like really bad. So let's lead with this, beat him right on, and draw for Yeah, again, I'm not like the hugest fan of this hand, but I think, look for the artisan, just take a little quick look throughout my hand and see what I'm working with here. Or my deck, I should say, yeah, there's nothing crazy there. Um, so right now, I think what I wanna do is I'm gonna bring up your Dunsparce. Mm -hmm. And then I'm already KOing that. No need to put anything else on the bench necessarily. And yeah, I'll just speed peek for the knockout. Yeah. And I'll throw lightning here. Brass over here, I think. Yeah, that's okay. And I get a knockout, which hopefully my prize cards can help me out. That's kind of what I'm banking on right now. All right, I'll promote Dunsport because the new one actually has free retreat, which is nice. Oh, I knew. And I'll <laughs> draw for turn. And then... I'll buddy puffin, and I'll get just two Dunsparce. Just to remember, this is the only one that can actually up this turn. But I have a really big hand, so that's not really a concern. Uh, if anything, it'd more so just be me wanting to establish the Dunsparces for a potential next turn, Iono. And then, uh, I am just gonna attack, so we'll at least move into Tink a ton. Uh, could gather materials here. So I'll discard a Tinka Tank, draw three, found another Tinka Tony X, which is good, so I'll establish that guy. And then I'm gonna Aroma, see if I can get an evolution to evolve that one Dunsparce. No, it's a basic. Uh, actually, yeah, I mean, hand size, right? It's relevant. Just get Manaphy, why not? If I don't get Iono, it's even more cards in hand. If I do, it's a bad card that gets sent to the bottom. And then, I have not played a supporter yet, right? No. So I think I actually wanna 
Cryptomaniac and stack mm. my deck for next turn, potential Iono. Um, don't have like an Arzu I can put there, so I'll probably just stack like two Dunswars to be honest. Um, yeah, or like the Dunsparce boss is pretty good because it means that I need a pretty small hand and I can just like boss the squawk for game on the next turn. So I'll shuffle my deck and then stack these two cards. And then I have uh, three, six, nine, eleven cards in hand. I'll big hammer for the knockout. Yeah, this landing energy can go on to this massive squawk ability over here. And, <laughs> Fully loaded. Uh, he's loaded up. He's ready. He's to go. ready to motivate for twenty. Days. <laughs> we'll leave with the squawk and we'll draw for turn. And yeah, not a whole lot happening here. I don't think it's possible for me to win anything. I'll techno radar and get rid of iron hands, and that can get me iron leaves and iron crap. See, because I know that Daniel's basically just stacked his deck with the Cryptomaniac, and even if, well, obviously I know what he did because he said it, but even if I didn't, I think it's kind of safe to assume he's on two prizes. He's got a huge board set up. Why wouldn't he go for a boss on the Squawk ability, right? It seems kind of almost trivial to, oops, assume that that's not the case. I'll bench another Iron Crown, and then I'll go into Iron Leaves here, and Rapid Veneer reads, once during your turn, when you place Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you can switch it with your active and then move any number of energy from your bench Pokemon to this Pokemon. So I can just switch this guy right into the active immediately, and I can move any amount of these energies. I'll move like the lightning, the grass, and the other grass over here. This one was still on the squawk. Now, Prismatic Edge is going to be doing 180 plus 60, which is what, 240? Yeah. Yeah. And so it is knockout. That is the knockout. With the 80. So we do take two prize cards here. All right, I'll go up with Tinkaton, draw for turn. I didn't get Iono, so there's not much I need to do here. I'll play the Dunstars, dashing draw, three cards, one of those being the boss that I stacked there. Uh, I would shuffle, but yeah. Uh, oh, actually, I don't even need the boss. I forgot. This, you can just blow it up anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> for some reason, I was thinking in case he stole the one prize, but that, that is a perfectly good two prize to knock out there. So we'll big hammer. Yeah, the okay. big the big hammer was working pretty good. Very man. big hammers. Yeah, yeah. It, I think this deck is like really fragile. Is the thing. Yeah. Is Iono is such a good card. I think a lot of decks are going to be playing many of them. And if you're up against a deck like that, it might not be that strong. But if you're not going to get Iono, you can set up decently. Like you just establish a big hand, get a wide board like that in like the mid to end game, and you're just stomping through everything. So I'll go first. Cut if you want. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got. I got one as well. I'm not sure how much I'll lose but let's see how it goes. All right, uh, that's fine. I'll play Great Ball before I do any other search cards because it keeps the deck as full as possible with Pokemon, so I'm likely to hit some things. Uh, Tinka Tink is probably the best thing to get here. So we'll grab that, and then I'm not going to shovel because I'm going to go back in with Aroma. Just a close, uh, Evo or Basic. Basic, that is what I like to see. Uh, probably want to get Radiant Jirachi here to throw in the active if possible. Uh, I'm not sure if it's in deck, though. It is, so I could get that. Um, only other really consideration is get another Tinkatink. I think I want Jirachi, and then hopefully it just gets like knocked out, and I can get a bunch of pieces. So we'll, we'll get that. And uh, I can free retreat with Dunsparce into Jirachi, which is cool. And then from there, can't do much else, so I'll pass. Okay. And first things first, I gotta go for a nest ball. Gotta draw some cards here with this hand. This hand needs a little bit of a reset. So thankfully, Squawkabilly is in the deck. So I'll grab Squawkabilly. From there, I'm gonna start by going for a Techno Radar. Iron Moth is not really that useful in this matchup, I don't think. It's good to have a nice little one prize attacker, um, you know, to switch it up a little bit, switch up the prize trade, but it's not really something you want on your bench in the early game, and I have Rod to get it back after if I so need it, so that's A-okay. Gear, I think how I want to do this is I want to grab a ride on and I another Iron Crown. That way I can knock out pretty much anything Daniel is going to throw at me. And from here, yeah, I don't want to knock this Jirachi out. I'm doing 40, 60, 80 damage right now. I think that was, you know, one of my more questionable plays was actually taking the knockout on Jirachi. Um, basically just giving Daniel everything that he needed. 
um, and trying to go a little bit too aggressive. Uh, so we're going to try and not do that this time. Um, we can throw an EXP shear down on the Iron Crown on the bench. I'll attach a Grass Energy to this Maridon here. And I think I'm pretty good. I can put the Iron Hands down and then go for a Squawk and Seize. This kind of Psychic Energy. Ideal here is a way to switch and a boss. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Yeah, I'm kind of afraid of that. That would be pretty solid. Um, didn't necessarily get there. But that's actually okay. We still got like a semi-decent hand. So I'm not super concerned. I think what I want to do here is I'll start with the Arvin. Nope. And Arvin can grab me. Switching out can also grab me a tool. Um, we'll see how I want to do this. Again, I'm really trying to not take this Jirachi out. That's not really what I want to do here. Yeah, kill him. <laughs> yeah. I know that he wants to be knocked kill out. Him. He wants to be knocked out. You get a prize version. card. <laughs> kill him. Um, but actually, maybe something else I can go for here is I can actually grab a Nest Ball and grab Mew X to hold more cards. That's like another option I have. Um, or at least prep myself to draw more cards, I should say. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I think I do want to grab Nest Ball, and I do want to grab Future Booster. And in doing so, the Nest Ball will just grab me Mew EX. Put that guy right onto the bench. So, with all that, I will attach the Future Booster to Iron Crown, so he's able to retreat. And... The rest of my hand, again, cards I kind of want to keep here. So, I do just want to retreat this Iron Crown into my Baby Maridon. And we'll go for the Speed Peak for 80, 80. damage. Thankfully, whiffing the KO. Not quite enough. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put two energy on Iron Hands. This guy's a little scary. All right. Um, since you don't want to knock out my Jirachi, maybe I will start attacking with it. Ooh. Um, so I'm going to go Candy into Tinka Tunny X while I have it. And uh, preserve that one Tinka thing that I have, because if that guy goes down, that's not very good. Uh, attach a double turbo to Jirachi, so I can start potentially getting a knockout. Jirachi's attack's not the best. Um, Astral Mis Misfortune flips two coins, and if both are heads, it just automatically knocks out the opponent. But you do have to hit double heads, which is about a 25% chance, and otherwise it does nothing. So it's just kind of to put some pressure on. Um, but before that, I can Crypto Maniac Deciphering. I don't have draw power right now, but... Um, it kind of at least lets me get some things off my top decks. So it's either Jonathan kills this and gives me three cards of whatever I want, or I, if he's not going to do anything about it, I'm at least going to top deck some decent cards over the next couple turns. Uh, so these two things. Shuffle that, and then these two I will put. And then we're going to flip some coins. Oh, yeah. Astral Misfortune. And it's already tails. So oh, no, nothing. Here. Okay. I'm going to drop a turn here. And yeah, there's a play I want to do. I want to I want to get this Jirachi out of here. I want to, but I want to do it with Iron Hands EX. Um, that would be probably the best way to go. The first order of business here is yeah, this does a bit of a foil in my plan. So I actually might opt to go for a different scenario here because Dan's setup again isn't like fantastic. Um, I think I might opt to go for some more setup myself here. And yeah, we're probably like, we're just gonna go for a speed peek. I'll take the knockout, okay. I'll eat that. Um, I need to get a little bit more going, which I find is a common problem with this deck is you do need like more cards. You always are gonna need more cards to, um, or more energy on board, I should say, to be able to like effectively power up your, um, your Pokemon. So from here, I'll throw a, on our good pal Iron Crown, and I'll throw a Lightning on our good pal Iron Hands. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, I grabbed my three cards from Entrusted Wishes because Jirachi was knocked out. Done. Done Sparse just because it's free treat. And I'll draw for turn. Um, hmm. So we'll evolve to the Dunsparce and use Dashing Draw. Draw three. Okay, we'll get Shuffled, which will push my Tinkathon. Then I'll attach for turn. 
Um, Mona, draw three cards. I did get one basic off that, so I'll get Dunsparce, and then I did stack a Poffin, or not stack, I, I that was one of the cards I grabbed off Jirachi, because I definitely need some more basics down. So I'll get Tinka Tink and Dunsparce, and then I also have an Artisan in hand that I'll use to grab um, Tinka Tink. I don't really see myself likely using triple the Dunsparce in a turn, so it'd probably be good to start establishing those. If this guy gets knocked out, I can go into a one prize thing on and an EX. That's fine. And then I have six in hand, so that will be enough. So I'll big hammer for the knockout and take one prize. Right. This grass energy goes to the iron crown. And I'll lead with new EX here. Draw for turn. Another little bit of a dilemma, my hand, there's a lot of cards in here that are usable, but they're not exactly that great at the moment. I'm going to start by going for a Techno Radar, getting rid of this Maridon. I just want to get a peek at what I'm working with. Now I have access to use Arm Press, but that's not taking the KO. So we got to see, can do enough damage here. Another option is to maybe prep with something like an Iron Crown, or I can also go in with uh, iron leaves. That's another option that I have. So I think how I want to is, okay. We got ways, we got ways. Iron leaves is gonna be doing 220, which is pretty. So I'm gonna whiff this techno radar and mm. I'm gonna use another techno radar and I'm gonna whiff that as well. Mm -hmm. In the hand, though, yeah, I just gonna. I want to draw some cards with restart. I want to play a supporter this turn, <laughs> would be nice, makes sense, yeah. Um, so, hopefully, we can find one of those. Those are usually pretty good cards, yeah. I, I would say so. They offer a lot of support, definitely. Oh, yes, yes, certainly. And, um, yeah, maybe maybe an Iono could be good, or if I want to save those for later, but we'll see what exactly I'm working with here. So, I'm gonna start by on to this iron hands, the reason being is that in case I want to attack with Iron Hands, I have the option to, uh, with Ampy very much. Um, I think the way I want to do this is like, I'm probably gonna move these energies anyway. It's more just so, so I'll switch cart into Iron Crown, mm -hmm. but then I'm just gonna bench Iron Leaves right away anyway. So I'll Rapid Veneer, put these two energies here and move it right up. So yeah, I'm kind of committed to attacking with leaves this turn, but I think I just need to draw more cards for the future, no pun intended. <laughs> um, and I'll restart for two here. And these two cards are pretty solid because it's an Iono. So like an Iono, uh, lower that hand a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I did kind of like this hand. It wasn't huge, but just like the cards in it were pretty good follow-up. That's a little unfortunate, but yeah, so fair play. We each get five. And what else are we working with? Yeah, nothing crazy. I didn't attach for turn, so I can get an attachment off. And I think right now I'm doing, what, 180? I'm gonna move 220. 220 is pretty solid. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and attach to my iron hands over here. And then all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for a prismatic edge for nice 220 damage. Um, so I'm debating how I want to sequence this. If rare candies are a card I'm really interested in drawing into right now, it's the kind of R I had two in my hand when they got Ionode, so I'm debating shuffling the deck now before drawing a lot of cards. Um, and I get, I'll grab a bit of Dunsparce off that. And then another question is, do I want to artisan out another basic or use the Dunsparce's and uh, and draw cards and and then like reestablish them. I need what did we say eight to knock out these EXs. The only yeah. one that'll be more is hands will have to be nine, I believe. Yeah. Um, let's evolve John Spurs. I can go. Really don't have a lot of room to play around with, so I think I'll go dashing draw first. I'll draw three after Dunsparce. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna draw again immediately, so I'll shuffle. I'll evolve this Dunsparce as well and use Dashing Draw. Shuffle this guy in. Actually, now am I going to 
No, I think I'm still gonna. Uh, then on Nimona, draw another three. Chaining the, the Dunsparce has helped a lot. I didn't initially have that second one, but now I've kind of got a decent amount of cards. Um, I can rare candy into Tink baby Tinkaton here to have a permanent gather materials option. And I'll do that. Discard Manaphy, draw three. And that's another good card. How many cards are in your hand? Just out of curiosity, right? A now. lot. Three, six, nine, twelve. So you went from like five cards to twelve over yeah. the matter of the while turn. building up the while board. While building the board, that's sick, dude. That's so cool. Yeah, <laughs> sick draws a lot of cards. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna play a Poffin because I definitely need to reestablish some Dunsparces, and then I'll Artisan as well, uh, which I haven't done yet. Actually, will I? I'll, I'll Poffin double the Dun, uh, double Dunsparce. I uh, actually don't think I have an artisan target, so that's fine. We'll just get those out. Uh, anything else? Three, nine, eleven. The one thing I kind of wanted as well here was to work towards a new Tinkatunny X. I can attach this. That's part of the puzzle. But I was hoping for either a candy into Tinkatunny X or at least my middle stage. I don't have that. That's like the one fear of mine because this is almost certainly getting knocked out. Uh, three. Six. There's not much else I can play here to find things, anyways. Oh, I actually have a dunce person hand. I didn't notice that. That's why there was no other basics to search for. So we can do that. So now I have nine, uh, which is still enough. And I think I'll settle for that. And uh, big hammer for the knockout. Take two prizes. All right. I will preserve this grass energy with the exp share. My I'll leave it to EX. And I'll draw. Now I'm going to, you know, I know exactly what my game plan is. I'm amping this Tinkatunny. Yeah, oh, sure. that's a little scary. Yeah, I'm definitely amping Dan very yeah. much right now. So I'm gonna start though with a Techno Radar. Get rid of research. I have another in hand. Um, that Techno Radar. I think I kind of want to line up another attacker if possible. Um, I'll probably just put another Crown down to be honest. Yeah, just get maximum damage potential out of my Pokemon here. Yeah, so the Techno Radar, I'll use to grab, and we'll see if I put that down. Yeah. So now looking at the rest of my hand. Yeah, I do think we want to put this crown down for sure. And I'll throw the Future Booster onto Iron Hands here. Um, and then my next play is gonna be to get some more energy, bring the board to life a little bit more. We're gonna go for a nice little A spec there it pod is. coming through. And I have three energy in the discard pile, because one was saved with the XP share, so I am I can't even complain to be honest. Still a pretty good amount. I'll throw a psychic onto the iron crown. I'll throw the grass. Uh, this psychic can go on the iron hands, and this other grass I will put on uh probably this iron crown, right? And now I've I can restart. That is a possibility, um, but I don't want to risk drawing into cards that I want to, like, that I'm going to discard off of research, and that's kind of my dilemma, so I don't think I'm actually going to restart. I don't want to get rid of any more crucial cards, uh, so I'll just go for the research right away, mm -hmm. and I'll grab, all right, no, seven. three, six, nine, that's seven. I, think I just you, can't count. You yeah, got the right amount. I just can't you're, count. You were in the intervals of that's three fine. mindset. This is a good enough hand for me. I didn't attach for turn just yet. So I will go ahead and do that right now. And from there, yeah, nothing else too insane. We're just gonna retreat the Mew EX into Iron Hands. I'm gonna amp you very much. <laughs> I'm gonna take three prizes. Three prize cards. Okay, going ahead on the prize trade here. Um, let's push it down first. Try for turn. I am definitely going to need the, to answer the hands on this turn. And then from there, just hope John can't take another two prizes on the next turn. So the big thing I'm looking for, I have Tinkatunny X in hand, is I really need the candy to get this guy evolved. That is about all we care for right now. Uh, so what I can do is I have Arzu in hand. I could just get tripled the Dunsparce and draw as much as possible, I think. Think that's gonna be our route. Uh, yeah, so many Zarzu. Get triple the Dunsparce. Take these guys off the board. Um, 
Dilemma is, do I put them back down? Crown only snipes 50. We got two prizes. If you went down to one, I think I'd be scared too because you could still do something like boss and kill the active with crown. But because you're on two, I think I'll be able to reestablish them to like safeguard myself against that Iono. I don't think I can like throw the game by reestablishing them, but we'll see. Um, so we'll start dashing draw, shuffle that guy back. Oh, actually, I think I probably should have gathered materials before I even did any of them, because now I could potentially drop back into them. I really need the candy, but that's not the, it's not the end of the world. Um, so I'll gather materials, discard artisan. I don't think I need that. Draw three. Then I'll... Once we're here, dashing draw. Shuffle that. Um, I could stop, actually. I've hit my candy now. I think I can save that one. Uh, huge hand. Oh, candy. Let me find my Tinka Tony X. <laughs> there it is. I'll retreat. Evolve this into Dunsparce. Um, yeah, so, okay. Like, like I said, I think, I think my logic is sound here that if he was on one prize, it'd be scary to put Dunsparce down. But the fact he's on two and crowns don't bench... Sorry, don't boost their bench damage. I should be fine to reestablish multiple Dunsparce. I hope I don't <laughs> eat my words on that. Uh, so I'll Artisan for another Dunsparce as well. Uh, we'll see. I could come to regret this. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, with my absolutely gigantic hand, I will big hammer. Dang, the big hammer comes down. And I get to preserve another energy with my EXP chair. And that energy probably going to be a lightning energy. Um, so now this iron crown is powered up. Uh, that iron hands goes down. I leave me the X. Yeah, this is a bit of a challenge here. I'm going to use Artisan. I want to see what I have left in the deck. Um, we'll see what happens here. Again, I'm not like super loving my situation, but let's take a look and see. We do have an out. And we might be chilling. Yeah, so... I think I know what you're out. I mean, you have a couple routes, but it's just a matter of like getting the energies on the things I'm thinking of. Yeah, so, okay, the way I'm gonna do this... Just say them, because I think we both know what we're talking about. So obviously, like, hands of one prizer works. Uh, I think your Maridon is the one you're more so considering. That's, that's the one that I think is the most possible. Plus all these guys, you can yeah. just knock out 300. It's just, in both cases, I'm trying to see how you get the energies in one turn with your A spec already down too. Probably just need to like attach double E switch. Well, let me show you. <laughs> so yeah, let's see. Okay. Yeah. So I got the double E switch. Yeah. And my thing is, I gotta find an energy card. Need to card. find one attachment. There are yeah. a lot of energies in play. There's a lot in play. Uh, I have my future booster as well. You need the future booster. So you have that, that too. That is the key here. And I'm down all my E switch. So I could have like Arvind for an E switch, um, and that would have got me there as well. Um, I only play three. And now all three are accounted for. So the best play is probably to just go absolutely like balls to the wall, for lack of a better term, mm -hmm. and just super rod three energy back and oh, research. Oh, that rod too. Okay. Yeah. So this, I think it's pretty likely. You it's decently here. likely. I have a good chunk of energy in deck. I hope I don't whiff because that would be embarrassing. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm really hoping here that we can pull this off. That's why I love the, this Maraid on EX. Not a lot of people play it, but I think that its ability to do a lot of damage, you know, you're hitting 320 if you have a future booster capsule plus uh, plus four crowns. So it's very like possible that you can knock out anything. And that's another thing that future can struggle with is even with the crowns not being able to uh, do a ton of damage. So I've shuffled my deck. You can cut if you wish. That's okay. All right, Go for the big research here. Mm -hmm. I could have Iono, but I don't think it would have done much at this point. No, I think you, you got to just go for the win here for sure. Yeah, definitely have to do it. And I do hit a whack of energy, yeah. so I can attach for turn, retreat, and do Cyber Drive for an incredible 300. Exactly damage. 300. Nice. And, and go to game three. Take. Two prizes and go to game three. Man, I was glad I pulled that. That was a really tight one. <sighs> My guy was prized. My Marono was prized. I was Ooh. so scared. Okay, so going into game three, I'm just thinking over how those last couple games played, and I actually think I want to try, since I lost, I get to pick. I want to try a game going second, because this deck kind of needs to do its small attack anyways before it gets going. So I'll put John on like a couple turns of setup. If he, you know, decided to not kill my Radiant Jirachi now, it'll give me a bit of time to 
go wide with basics before I start building a hand. And I think it might be a little easier for me to, uh, to get going, but we'll see how it works out. So this is my starting hand here. Um, so you went second. Yeah. You went first. I get to draw. We will start with a heavy and heavy ball will grab us. No, no prizes. Right. And yeah, these are the kind of times where you're like, oh, going second would have been so much better. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. Because now all I can do is attach and pass. Like Ooh. there's literally nothing else that's going Needed on. Needed that supporter. All right, I'll draw. Uh, and yeah, if the supporter play helps me a bit here. I can Nimona before I start playing some search, see if I can draw into more Pokemon. Uh, and I do. All three Pokemon actually. <laughs> Not all basics, but. Not not bad still. Uh, so I'll put another Dunsparce down. I'll bench Tinkatink. Uh, I'll see what these aromas land on. They get heads or tails. That's tails, so that's a basic, which I'm cool with right now. I think I'm gonna get another Tinkatink. Let me see if Jirachi's in deck as well. Uh, it is, okay. Get another Tinkatink. Then... I'll... Uh, Put one more aroma, why not? That's an Evo, that's fine. I think I'll get Tinkaton DX just to sit on, I guess, is fine. And then I think I have to try for it because it'd be really funny. <laughs> Nest Ball, <laughs> yeah. You might you might have figured out what's coming Dude, here. oh no way. It's only a 25% chance, but Dunsparce is for retreat. I have DTE in hand. If I hit double heads on Astral Misfortune here, I just win the game. So let's try for it, why not? That's crazy. I it, can't even be mad at that. It really that happens, funny. bro. Yeah, I think it'd be That's hilarious. That's insane. So I will attach return to Jirachi and I'll Astral Misfortune. Oh, okay. First okay. tails already, so it's not happening. All right. I get to live another turn. You do. And I draw. Um, yeah, really not a huge fan, again, of this hand. I got a Techno Radar away of research, which should tell you kind of what I'm working with already. Um, and I'm gonna grab from there. Well, first we're gonna take a look and see what we got going. Okay. It's just gonna be double crown. Um, Cause I have some EXP shares in my hand and I don't wanna lose them. Mm. So probably best to just preserve them. They're very, very crucial, especially because I'm playing those energy switches you saw in the last Yeah, game. they did work out well, like regardless of what they were actually on, just to keep the energy in play. Even if they're not on attackers, they can then be moved to good Pokemon later. Yeah, so I think that's really a important piece of the puzzle. Yeah, I got two in hand, so I was debating getting a Baby Maride on, but double XP share, probably good. Then I got a research, get my reboot uh, pod, which I'm not a fan of. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Tonight. But I think that that's, you know, decent enough sacrifice for the kind of turn that, I'm, that I had last turn. Um, and now, th in this case, I don't really want energy in the discard. I mean, there's no way for me to get it back, right? Mm -hmm. So, my probably gonna be, you know, even though I literally just said all that, yeah, I'm probably going to go Techno Radar, get rid of Lightning Energy, funnily enough. Um, and I wanna grab Hands and Maridon uh, here. While I'm doing this, I want to attach the Future Booster here. And the way I wanna do this is I'm going to Energy switch this energy to Maridon, then attach for turn on the hands, mm -hmm. and I will speed peak 80. Only 80. Only 80. Again, I don't want to give him the cracked. Doesn't want to let me go crazy. I don't want to let him go absolutely insane. Yeah, I think you're gonna do grass and fire, so I give myself some versatility. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll draw. Um, so. How do I want to do this? Oh, great ball. Let's see what it gets me. Probably just want to take it to Dunsparce. Um, yeah, I kind of wanted to see how that great ball worked out and then debate how I want to sequence like drawing versus a... Uh... So I'll take that. Um, probably just start drawing with dashing draw and see what we get before I commit anything. Shuffle this guy in. Then I'll... Use another one. Shuffle the Dunsparce. Uh, Nimona to draw another three. Okay. 
And then I'll pop in because I want to get some Dunsparces back down on the board. Two Dunsparce. Um, search out one more as well. Baiting. If I want to add a Tinka Tink or a Dunsparce down. Because I do only have two right now. Tinka Tink, hoping Jirachi gets knocked out, but then make it spossed around. I think I'll net ball for a Dunsparce. Um, and I think I whiffed Candy EX, which is unfortunate, so I can't attack with that. So I want to get some stuff down, though, in case I get Iono'd. So I'm going to go Tinkatuff here. Um, could be good, could be bad, depending on what kind of supporter John plays here, but I'm going to go DTE on the other one. Less incentivizes a boss between the two of them. Doesn't, like, overcommit to one of them if he plays the boss. Um, and if he Iono's, it gets resources down. If he does Iono, then the DT probably should have gone to Tinkatuff, but it still gets it in. And then... From there, we're gonna try for Astral Misfortune. Let's see if I can at least take a one prize here. So let's flip some coins. Uh, it has... I don't know if that was on camera, but that's one. And two. Two. All right. So Would have been nice to turn before, but <laughs> yeah. at least we do get a one prize here. So Mirana goes down. EXP share does not trigger because it's only with damage. Yeah, and this so, is an effective attack. Yeah, exactly. So goodbye to my good pal Mirana. And I'm gonna actually no, I'm gonna leave with the moth. I'm gonna leave with hands. Uh, and then I'll draw four turns. Now, um, interesting top deck. Like, yeah, I really don't want to get. I don't want to knock this Jirachi out. Um, and plus, I mean, it's an easy target later. Uh, 2KO. Um, so I think the, the play I want to do, I'm just going to take a look here. The play that I want to hit you with is I'm going to counter catcher Ooh. and bring this Tinka Tink up. Okay. And then I'm just going to research it. So there was a gusting effect. So that's kind of why I went with the idea of splitting the commitment. Yeah, definitely. I think that was the right call. For um, and this is uh, unfortunate. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this situation. Did you whiff an energy? I did whiff an energy. Yeah. That's not the best. Yeah, it's not really uh, awesome. So the way I want to do this, okay, I can still, I think, get a knockout though, which is good. Let's see. So I'll go for Nest Ball. Mm -hmm. Nest Ball can grab my baby Maridon. Good thing I didn't leave with the hands. Um, and then I can go for an energy switch, uh, and then I can energy switch. I'll do fire onto this Maridon on here. Um, yeah. and I'll put the EXP share onto Iron Hands as well. I don't anticipate needing to boost its damage, and we'll retreat them off. Then I'm debating. There's other Pokemon in my hand that I can bench, but like I don't really think it's necessary to do so. And I'm taking the KO here anyway, so all I'm gonna do is PP for the knockout. Mm -hmm. And I can get some more energies in play. I'll probably just do. Here, what else do I have in my hand? Yeah, that's fine. I'll do. Ah, actually, hold on. Yeah, fire and grass, I think, is okay. And then I take the pressure. I'll promote a dunce first, and I'll draw. So, big things I need here DTE. Uh, if you have Tinka Tiny X in hand, I can evolve. Uh, in hindsight, with one of the, the Tinka Tinks going down, was uh, the one other thing I could have done to play around a gusting effect, is I think one of these Dunsparces should have been a Tinka Tink instead. Um, but that's okay. So I have one in hand. I'll bench that. Um, and then I think I want a Cryptomaniac to ensure the cards I'm looking for, because I don't mind taking the one prizer here. Uh, no, let me see what Great Ball finds, because I have one to Dunsparce in hand. If it finds another one... Yeah, it doesn't find another one. Okay, so I get the Tinka Tink. If it found another one, what I could have done was use the one to Dunsparce, see what I find, and then from there, choose my supporter. But because I don't have follow-up draw, I have a single to Dunsparce, and I don't want to risk having to draw into another one or not. Um, I, yeah, I'm just going to play the Crypto for safety. Uh, I don't want to risk whiffing. I'll play Cryptomaniac. Search my deck for two, and stack them on top. I think I want to get one of those, and maybe Dunsparce seems good. So put those on top, it doesn't matter, because I'm just going to draw both with the Dunsparce. 
So I use a dashing draw. I'm just shuffle that back. And then I'll I'm gonna use another one. Hmm. Wouldn't mind getting another Tinka Tank down. But it's kind of unlikely my Tinkaton gets knocked out here. Go attach for sure. Maybe I don't need to pop this. I could just keep it for a potential Iono. Since my board's still not like super strong with the uh, gather materials down yet. Do I have any Nimonas in discard? One. I do have two Nimonas in discard actually, so uh, I can backpack for those. I don't need a ton of cards in hand though. I think I'll just go up with my Tinkaton. I'll keep this the Dunsparce in play for when I need it more. And I'll big hammer for the knockout. All right, it was done. And I get to keep this fire energy. Um, I think I probably want to put it on hands here. I'm not exactly sure. Ooh, maybe not on the hands. I don't really know what exactly I want to do with my hand because it's it, it's an interesting hand. There's a good chunk of options in ways that I can go about this. Um, yeah, so, um, so yeah, I'll put it on the hand and yeah, okay. And I'll leave with Iron Moth. I have a really interesting hand, really interesting combination of cards. But I think the way I want to play this is I want to spread out the threat a little bit more. I mean, you know, this Iron Hands isn't necessarily knocking out this Tinkaton. But I think what I want to do is I want to drop an Iron Leaves and use Rapid Vernier, which is going to go into the active. And I can move any amount of energy to it. So I'll move Grass to the Iron Leaves. Do I want to move anything else? Not necessarily, no. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to attach the Future Booster Energy Capsule. Retreat to Iron Moth, and Iron Moth's ability Thermal Reactor lets me move any of my fire energy from my other Pokemon to it. So I can move the fire energies from Iron Hands to the Iron Moth. Now this way, I have a lot of energy set up on the my two attackers and a lot of EXP shares on board to preserve the energy. Uh, that I'm moving around. Additionally, I do have an attachment, so I can go ahead and attach this grass energy. Uh, no, it's gonna be a fire energy, actually. We'll attach this fire energy uh, for turn on this Iron Moth. And then we're gonna go for a Heat Ray, doing 120, 140, 160, 180. All right. I'll drop. So, I think I'm in a really good spot prize trade-wise. And the only thing that really scares me is the Iron Hand, so I think I want to look to potentially Gust knock out that. And then I really secure my safety, I guess. Because um, knocking out the Moth just lets three fires go to spread to different XP shares, and it's only one prize, so then I have to take another one prize there, or it becomes an irrelevant knockout if there's no more one prizes in play. So I want to just try and go like 2-2 two, two here. Um, then again, it does just return knock out my Tinkaton. So I'd have to boss again, which I could do, assuming I don't get Ionode. I have the sort of room to do it since John's still on five. So I think I want to deny skipping to like two from an amp on the Tinkaton. So I do think boss hands wants to be my play. Um, can I get there though? I have eight in hand. I don't need to commit things to the board, which is good. So I think we'll just start with dashing draw, see what I get. I'll draw three. Shuffle this guy back. Then I drew into a candy, which is good because I have the gather materials Tinkaton in hand. So I can candy that out. And I'll also bench Tinka Tink as a backup attacker. If this goes down, uh, what do I need for hands? That's a question. I think so, because DT yeah. reduces to 250. So I need nine. I have eight right now. I can gather materials a switch. And draw three, three, six, nine, ten. I can Nimona's backpack to net an extra card because I have two Nimona's in the discard. I haven't played that card yet, but the sort of secondary engine of this deck is on top of the Dunsparces. You play heavy Nimona is supposed to be your intended draw supporter just because it draws cards without discarding anything or reshuffling your hand. And then Nimona's backpack with two Nimona's in the discard net you positive one card as well by playing one for two. So I have three, six, nine, 11. Uh, boss has to be one of the things I play. So I'm at 10. I can, yeah, I can attach, which makes nine. 
And then I have to stop playing cards. <laughs> because I will not knock out if I play anymore. So I'm going to big hammer for the knockout. All right. Iron Hands goes down. And this lightning energy can get moved to one of my crowns. And I'm going to lead with Iron Leaves. Definitely not attacking with it this turn. But I just want to have a pivot option. Don't want to commit the moth to the active just in case something else comes. Not a whole lot happening. Um, I'm going to definitely be taking the knockout with that moth. And the way I want to do it is I think I'm going to... I'm going to bench them right on. And I'm going to put a future booster for the sake of it being a pivot. Um, just in case I need to switch something into the active. And I'm going to attach this grass energy to the iron leaves here. For then we'll just retreat and go into the moth. And yeah, it's just going to be a heat ray for the KO. And I take two prize cards. Okay. Throw it down, sparse, and draw. So the first thing is I'm going to need to get another boss if I want to win this turn. I do have candy EX in hand. So I can do that. The one thing holding me back here is that I only have one Dunsparce in play, which means a maximum of one draw with the Dunsparce, which I don't actually even have in hand yet. So there's probably more than likely chance that I do with the like game here, but probably try for it anyways. Um, so I don't want to thin Pokemon out as much as possible ahead of time. Uh, but then I still can't play too many cards down is the issue. So maybe just a puff in. And I'll just double check at least. Okay, yeah, so there is a boss in deck. Because I think I only played two, so there's a chance it could have been prized. Um, so I'll puff in out. As far as Tinka Tink on the chance this guy goes down. Ooh, I actually don't have Tinka Tinks left, I think. So it might have to just be double done sparse. If I find Neo Upper Energy, what I could do is return kill this Iron Moth with my one prize Tinkaton. Uh, and give myself a little bit of safety there. Then... Oh, I'm gonna need to flip Aroma Heads to even get a, the Dunsparce and keep drawing here. Get a Heads. So that's an evolution. So I can get the Dunsparce. And then... We'll have to see what we draw, I think. So I'll Dashing Draw. Uh, okay. Shuffle in, and I guess I can push the Dunsparce because I haven't actually retreated yet. Let's see, I haven't played a supporter either. Correct. Thing. How many cards in that? Three. Okay. I actually do have Roxanne in hand when it's live right now, but I don't think there's a point in playing that with its low hand count already for you and makes my hand rather small. So I think I'll just play Nimona and draw another three drawing cards to draw cards um, so that I have room to play things and still be able to knock things out with Big Hammer. Uh, the best spot, really. I can bench another Dunsparce. Yeah, knocking with the Moth really does nothing for me. I'm thinking I don't want to risk my Tinkaton going down, uh, or at least make it as hard as possible for John to get it. So I'm probably not going to go up and attack with it. I just want, and I also whiffed my Neo Upper Energy, so I can't even attack on my one price Tinkaton. I think I want to just attempt to do something about it and knock it with Jirachi and if I whiff it, I whiff it. That's just kind of fine. So we're gonna go for Astral Misfortune and I get a Tails off the first. So no knockout there. Oh, I get to draw a card here and my hand is rather lacking. Um, again, Iron Moth can't use Heat Ray. That's the condition of its attack. So I can't even take right, a Right, I also can't attack again. But I wouldn't even want to knock this Raiding Jirachi out because yeah, right, I just give a boss. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that's yeah, we'll, we'll not do that. So, um, you really can't answer the draw to you. Which yeah, is which is like actually really putting a thorn in my side here. I'll attach a psychic energy. As Paul Margold said, an iron thorn an in, iron my side, thorn in my in side. Your side. Man, that's a crazy statement. Um, oh yeah, I'm going to attach a psychic energy to my ride on. And yeah, there's not a lot of craziness happening here. Here, I think I'm. I don't know. I don't know what I should be doing here. Like, I don't have reboot pods, so it's not like I can have an explosive um, turn at any point. Like, I have kind of a lacking hand in terms of options. It might just have to be. I mean, he has a good chunk of cards left, but the chances that he find the boss are like decently high. 
So, yeah, I literally, I just got a pass here. Yeah, I, do I don't know what your hand else. is, but that, that probably seems correct in yeah, most cases. I don't want to, like, I don't want to knock up a Jirachi, right? Yeah. Like, so I'll draw for turn. Um, so on one hand, all I care about here is boss, so I could gather materials before I use the Dunsparce, so I don't risk drawing back into it. But at the same time, I only have one Dunsparce in hand, and drawing into more of them is not bad either. So... Uh, that's like a s higher chance that I draw into more Dunsparces than a boss, because there's more in the deck. So maybe gather materials first is still correct, I'm thinking. How many Pokemon search that I can play? So it's just going to be gather materials, Manaphy. I'll draw three. And I do find boss. Okay. So I'll play a boss on any of the two prizers. And retreat Jirachi oh, into Tinkaton. And then oh, drop my... Big hammer. My how much, how much is it? I want to like. What's the actual? Well, app? I could. Do we want to just BM? I can. I can draw more cards if we really want to. <laughs> I'll use the Dunsparce and dashing draw. Uh, okay, I didn't draw into more the Dunsparces, so it'd probably stop there. If I drew into more, I could have kept going, but it would be 15, 16 cards, which is what 420. 16 times three. I'm bad at my 480 right now. Yeah. yeah. A lot. I don't know. I can't math. Three seventy. I just said. I just said three seventy. Is it? Sixteen times three is thirty-nine. Minus two is thirty-seven. Sixteen times three is not thirty-nine. It's four thirty. <laughs> it's four eighty, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can do math. I, I was just getting gaslit by my friends here. So four eighty. Like, what's this guy talking minus about? Minus twenty for DTE. Four hundred and sixty damage. More than double. The big hammer comes down. Big hammer. And Dan takes the final two prize cards. Yeah, man. Tinkaton is kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> now, it doesn't help that Future Box... I think there's a couple issues there. Or, Future yeah. Box might be a bit of a favorite matchup for Tinkaton because, first off, it gives it some time. You uh, you got to be attacking with Baby Maridon to charge up energy. And then the other thing is you're not a deck that's just spamming Iono. Yeah. One of the big issues, I mean, you saw in two of my three games, I pretty much just had a dead hand the whole time. I didn't get Mew down, and uh, that really hurt me. Again, in the third game, going first and literally just draw passing. Like, the deck really does rely on going second. You get the first attack off, likely the first KO. You're charging energy all on your first turn. Like, there's a lot happening um, on, if you're going second. So going first really slows the deck down. It makes it even slower than it already is. But I do think that Future Box has some potential. There's a version with Iron Hands that literally just plays four Iron Hands, four Iron Crown, and like 16 Lightning Energy and Electric Generators, which might even be the way to go because you power up your Pokemon way easier and you just do big damage and take extra prizes with Iron Hands. Like that's kind of the whole way you play it. That might be a better way to play Future Box. But uh, I can't say that I didn't enjoy the deck. The deck is a lot of fun when it works. Could use some more time in the oven, but uh, we'll see. Do you have any other closing thoughts on Thinking Time? No, I think I mentioned most of it. It's pretty cool. I think this might have been a favorite match of it. It'll probably do worse into things uh, Iono-wise. Or yeah. a, an interesting thing coming up, because this one, it will be playing against Mill coming up. Mm -hmm. So it's a deck that wants to a massive, massive hand and draw a bunch of cards. But I'm also fighting against the fact that my opponent is trying to deck me out. So stay tuned for that coming soon. Yeah, and with all that said and done, thank you all so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed, and comment down below what do you think of these two decks. I'm going to be posting links to Mitch and Chicken Daniel's socials and such yeah. in the comments, and he's going to be doing a profile on this Ticket Honey X deck, going over the strategy, card inclusions, and all that stuff. So be sure to click that link below and tune in for that. And yeah, subscribe to the Hitmon Channel. channel. I'm posting multiple Pokemon trading card game videos every year. And with all that said and done, once again, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, Hitmon Channing. Oh.